So, praise God. Tayo ay uh, manalangin muli. Lord, salamat Panginoon sa hapong ito. Salamat dahil kami ay muli nasa presensya mo. Salamat sa iyong salita na ipapahayag ngayon. Let your word be preached with boldness and authority. Let be a new revelation, O God, <coughs> na matanggap namin sa araw na ito, O God, na magamit namin sa pangaraw-araw upang aming pananampalataya ay lalong lalago, tataas at magkaroon ng manifestation sa lahat ng desire ng aming mga puso, O God. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. Banal na Espiritu Santo, hayaan mo na ikaw manguna at ikaw may taas sa oras na ito, God. Itago mo ako sa iyong mga kamay upang Lord na makita ikaw lamang, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat. In Jesus' name, Amen. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Palakpak para sa Panginoon. Sa virtual, palakpak para sa Panginoon. Amen. Ah, uh, talagang ang buti ng Panginoon dahil this last month yung a leaf of faith ang pinag-aralan natin. Yung hindi lang simpleng pananampalataya kundi talon ng pananampalataya. Amen. Kasi yung talon ng pananampalataya ang kailangan natin para magkaroon ng manifestation ang bawat pinanampalatayahan natin. Amen. Nung kagaya nung tinuro ni Pastor sa Valley of Dry Bones, di ba, nung diniklarahan na, na, na nanampalataya, ang umpisa, buto lang, nagdugtong-dugtong yung buto. At yun nga, ang bawat parte, nagsama-sama. Ah, hindi lang natigil doon. So, ang leaf of faith, kailangan talon talaga, talon ng talon ng pananampalataya. So, pagkatapos ng buto, nagkaroon ng flesh, nagkaroon ng internal organs, at At sa pagkatapos noon, may physical body na pero wala pa ring life. Para magkaroon ng buhay ang isang tao, napaka-importante ang breath, ang hininga ng Panginoon, ang wind from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south, na napaka-importante ang paghinga. Amen. So, yun nga ang ABC of... Uh, ABC ng pag mag uh, resuscitate ka ng isang tao, kailangan muna ang air. Kailangan ang breathing bago ang circulation. Men, so, pinakita doon sa tinuro ni Pastor about the dry bones na hindi lang yung mga physical na ang makita mo, kundi darating ang time, kailangan mo talaga ang hininga ng Panginoon. Kailangan mo talaga ang presensya ng Panginoon para ikaw merong buhay. Kasi maraming tao na bubuhay ngayon, pero walang kabuhay-buhay. Amen ba? So, kailangan mabuhay tayo na may buhay. Amen? Parang kanina, di ba, nung nagtugtugan tayo sa communion, parang sa umpisa, parang, ano nangyari? <laughs> so, kailangan natin ng buhay para hindi tayo ma- mahuli sa sa ating ginagawa para sa Panginoon. Amen. So, praise God. Alam natin, andito ang Panginoon. Alam natin, kasama natin ang presensya ng Panginoon dahil kailangan-kailangan natin ito. Sa May, ang pag natin ay about church, you are essentials. Amen. Church, you are essential. Sabi dito sa 1 Corinthians 12, 12 to 31, Bago natin ipatuloy yung ano ang meaning ng church at ano ang meaning ng essential. Sabi dito, the human body has many parts, but the many parts make up one whole body. So it is with the body of Christ. Some of us are Jews, some are Gentiles, some are slaves, and some are free. But we have all been baptized into one body by one spirit, and we all share the same spirit. Amen? So, sa 14... Sabi dito, yes, the body has many different parts, not just one part. If the foot says, I am not a part of the body because I am not a hand, that does not make it any less a part of the body. So, dito sa 16, and if the ear says, I am not part of the body because I am not an eye, would that make it any less a part of the body? If the whole body were an eye, how could you hear? 
if your whole body were an ear, how could you smell anything? Kakaiba kung mata lang mag-isa ang naglalakad. Nakakaiba kung tenga lang ang naglalakad. Nakakaiba kung kamay lang ang naglalakad. Kakaiba kung paa lang ang naglalakad. Walang katawan. Di ba? Multo yun. Pero sabi nga dito sa 18, But our bodies have many parts, and God has put its part just where He wants it. How strained a body would be if it had only one part. Yun yung kinwento kanina. Yes, there are many parts, but only one body. So every part of that body is essential. Men, so this is 21. The eye can never say to the hand, I don't need you. The head can say to the feet, I don't need you. In fact, some parts of the body that seem the weakest and less important are actually the most necessary. Men, so hindi po pwedeng sabihin na hindi ka parte doon sa body na yun. Men, so 23. And the parts we regard as less vulnerable are those who clothe with our greatest care. So we carefully protect those parts that should not be seen. While the more vulnerable parts do not require this special care, so God has put the body together such that extra honor and care are given to those parts that have less dignity. So 25, this makes for harmony among the members so that all the members take members care for each other. If one part suffers, all the parts suffer with it. And if one part is honor, all the parts are glad. And all together are Christ's body. And each of you is a part of it. Each one of us is a part of Christ's body. Here are some of the parts God has pointed for the church. First, are apostles, second, prophets, third, the teachers. Then those are miracles. Uh, who do miracles, those who have the gift of healing, those who can help others, those who have the gift of leadership, those who speak in unknown languages. So, so 29, are, all, we all, are we all apostles? Are we all prophets? Are we all teachers? Do we all the power to do miracles? Do we all the gift of healing? Do we all have the ability to speak in unknown languages? Do we all have the ability to interpret unknown languages? Of course not. So you should earnestly desire the most helpful gifts. But now, let me show you the way of life that is best of all. Men, so ngayon, pag-aaralan natin the ways of life that is best for all. Mata ka man, tanga ka man, kamay ka man, paa ka man, katawan ka man. Kung ano ka man parte sa katawan ni Kristo. Apostle ka man, prophet ka man. Teacher ka man, evangelist ka man, miracle um, worker ka man na ginagamit ni Lord, iisa tayo. At ngayon, pag-aaralan natin yung best way of life. Amen? So, church, you are essentials. Ito yung topic natin sa buwang ito. So, ano ba meaning nga ng church? Building nga lang ba ang church? Na ang pinag-usapan lang ba natin ay ang ang pinapakita natin na building na itatayo natin. Kapatid, ang church in the English uh, Bible, it comes from the word ecclesia, which the root word, the kaleo, the to call or call out. Amen? So, ang root word sa ecclesia is the kle, kaleo from the kle, klesia. So, prefix na ek, out. So, it is call out. Church is call out. And another one, church is the physical manifestation of Christ's body. Amen? So, the body of Christ. Sabi nga sa Romans 12, 1 3, and so dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all He has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind He will find acceptable. This is the truly the way to worship Him. Don't copy the behavior and custom of this world, but that let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Amen? So, sa three. Because of the privilege and authority God has given me, I give each of you this warning. Don't think you are better 
than you really are. Be honest in your evaluation of yourselves, measuring yourselves by the faith God has given us. So, maging honest tayo kung ano ba talaga ang role natin, ano ba talaga ang ginagawa na natin sa kaharian ng Panginoon. And understand that every part of this body is essential. Amen? So, sabi nga dito, church is the physical manifestation of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen? So, tayong church is the physical manifestation of Jesus Christ. So, sabi nga sa Romans 12.2 kanina, Be transformed by the renewing of your mind in Christ. Be transformed like Jesus. I mean, na tayo dapat ay maging transformed in a new person by changing the way we think. Then, we, you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Ang will talaga ni Lord sa atin is good, pleasing, and perfect. May napakaganda ng plano ni Lord sa atin. Good, pleasing, and perfect. Amen? So, sabi nga, essential tayo sa church ni Jesus. Church, the body of Christ. Amen? So, kailangan natin, malaman natin kung anong, how to live a life. Paano tayo mamuhay? Nung kanina sa binasa natin sa 1 Corinthians 12, di ba? Kailangan the way na gusto ni Lord na buhay natin. Kailangan natin matransform into the image and likeness of Jesus Christ. So, sabi dito, isa pang meaning, assembly. It is a group of people called out for a meeting. So, tayo lahat, we 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 are part of the church. We are part of the assembly. We are called out to be transformed like Jesus. We are called out to be part of the body of Christ. Amen? So, sabi nga din dito, sa isang meaning ng church, it is a synagogue to come together. So, ang church is a place to come together. So, tayong lahat dito is the church of God. Hindi yung building. A physical temple ni Lord ang bawat isa sa atin. Amen? We are joined together in fellowship, worshiping the Lord, giving the glory of God. Na kanina nga umaga, sabi ni Daddy Vic, sa church, dito tayo tinuturuan the way we live. Sa, sabi sa 1 Corinthians kanina 12, na kailangan maintindihan natin na Every part of the body is important. You cannot stand as an eyes only. You cannot stand as an ear only. You cannot stand as a nose only. You cannot stand as a feet or a hand only. Amen? So, kailangan tayo lahat ay buo para kay Kristo. Amen? So, sabi dito sa essential, letter B, absolutely necessary. Extremely important. Crucial. Nasa isang bagay, crucial, nakagay ng tubig. Na, sabi nga, there are three important elements. Water, air, ano pa, fire. Na, kung wala yung water, hindi ka ma- mabuhay. Kung walang hangin, hindi ka mabuhay. Kung walang liwanag, yung light, yung dala ng fire na yan, ay talagang malungkot ang buhay mo kung wala kang apoy. Men, kung walang liwanag, kung nasa kadiliman tayo, ang hirap, di ba? So, yun yung mga essentials in our living. So, sabi nga dito sa uh, buhay, uh, sabi dito, basic and indispensable. Ang essential, it is basic. Kung gumawa ka ng pancake or hot cake, anong basic ng hot cake, Jessica? Flour. So, hindi ka magiging hot cake kung walang flour. Kahit ang flour, lagyan mo lang siya ng water, pwede ng hot cake. Bread na ata yun eh. <laughs> Kasi hindi ka pwedeng gawin na cake kung walang flour. Pwede ba ang, ang flour, uh, pwede ba palitan mo ng etlog ang flour? Hindi pwede. 
Pang scrambled egg, egg lang ang basic doon, crucial. So, tayo sa body of Christ, par tayo ay essential. Pa, kahit nakaliit-liitan na party, sa tingin mo, hindi ka kasali. Sa tingin mo, hindi ka parte ay hindi mabubuo ang isang bagay. Hindi mangyayari. Amen? Amen. So, you are in this church, you are indispensable. Dito sa Genesis 37, dinala ako ni Lord sa buhay ni Joseph. Si Joseph, talagang isa siya sa anak ng old age ni Jacob. Kung saan, mara, na yung mga kapatid niya ay nagsiselos sa kanya. So dumating ang point na pinag-isipan siya na na, ibi, na patayin ang mga kapatid. Men? Kasi sabi nga sa John 10, 10, the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. Pero praise God, Jesus came to give us a full and satisfying life. So dito sa Genesis 37, pinakita dito yung buhay ni Joseph. When Joseph's brothers saw him coming, they recognized him in a distance. As he approached, they made plans for to kill him. Here comes the dreamer, they said. Come on, let's kill him and throw him into one of these cisterns. We can tell our father a wild animal has eaten him. Then we'll see what becomes of his dreams. So, di ba, nakwento na natin ito noon. Alam natin, si Joseph ay isa sa pinakabunso na anak ni uh, Jacob kung saan uh, nanaginip siya na darating ang time na yung kanyang mga kapatid ang may bag, may bag, may magbabaw down sa kanya. Pati ang kanyang magulang ay magbaw down sa kanya sa kanyang panaginip. At tinawanan siya ng mga kapatid at talagang nainis ang mga kapatid niya sa kanya to the point na gusto siyang patayin. I mean, may mga times na parang mayroon kang uh, nandoon na yung leaf of faith mo pero dumating ang time na hindi ka maintindihan sa mga tao sa paligid mo. Kapatid, kung ikaw ay essential, kahit na ipapatay ka pa dyan, kahit talagang nasa bihit ka ng kabatayan, may papadala si Lord na magliligtas sa iyo. So dito nga sa sa 21 sa verse 21, but when Reuben heard of their scheme, he came to Joseph's rescue. Let's not kill him, he said. Why should we shed any blood? Let's just throw him into his empty cistern here in the wilderness. Then he'll die without laying a hand on him. Reuben was secretly planning to rescue Joseph and return him to his father. I mean, so kung may mga nagpaplano na masama sa'yo, dahil ikaw ay essential, God will make a way na ma-rescue ka from the work of the enemy. Dito nga sa buhay ni Joseph, nakita natin na pinagpaplanuhan siya ng mga kapatid niya na patayin. Pero praise God si Ruben, isa din sa kanyang uh, nakakatandang kapatid. Sabi niya, huwag natin siyang Ah, uh, patayin ihulog na lang sa balon. Amen. At hindi pa mabahiran ang kanilang mga kamay. Kapatid, may ipapadala si Lord sa iyo because you are indispensable. You are essential. You are a part of the uh, vision of God. Amen sa buong mundo. Amen ba? Sabihin mo sa katabi mo. You are a part of the mission. Man, you are part of the mission. Kaya si Brother Mario, may mission pa. Parte ka pa sa mission. Essential ka. Kaya pinagaling ka ni Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Amen. So sabi nga, somebody is sent to your rescue. You are extremely needed for the group. Cannot function without you. You have a purpose. God has a purpose. So may papadala siya na isang tao para ikaw ay ma-rescue from the work of the enemy. Amen ba? Na to the point na ibibenta ka man. Pagbasahin natin, hindi ko nababasahin hanggang 28. Kasi, uh, ang pinaka-importante dito, pag ikaw ay indispensable, may papadala si Lord na mag-rescue sa'yo. Kapatid, kung sa piling mo ay Meron kang dinadaanan ngayon ng kabigatan. God 
is there for you. At may papadala siya ng mga lion, ipapadala siya mga uwak para ikaw i-feed, ipapadala siya ng mga tao para ikaw ay tulungan. Amen. Para maka uh, alis ka din sa negative situation kung saan ka man ngayon naroroon. Amen. Kaya dyan sa virtual, uh, may pinapadala si Lord sa bawat isa sa inyo para makaahon kayo kung ano mang sitwasyon na dinadaanan nyo ngayon. Amen? Amen. So, dito sa Genesis 39, 19 to 23, eh, tuloy natin ang kwento sa buhay ni ni uh, Joseph. Kaya nga si Genesis 39, 19 to 23. So dito, 39, 39, 19 to 23. Genesis 39, 19 to 23. Sige dito. Sige, basahin na lang natin dito para mapabilis na tayo. So dito, sabi nga, Potiphar was 14 to 23. So hindi, pa, hindi talaga tumitigil ang devil sa, sa buhay mo kapatid. Bakit na may mag-rescue? Mayroon pa rin map, mara, mapupuntahan ka na magkakaroon ka ng struggle doon. Kung sabi dito, She called out to her servant. Soon all the men came running. Look, she said, my husband has brought this liberal liver to make false of us. He came into my room to rape me, but I screamed. So, si J Joseph, napunta na naman siya sa pangangasiwa ni Putipar. Amen? At siya ay binigyan ng isa sa mga leader ni Piro. Diba si, si Putipar? Captain of the guard for Piro, the king of Egypt. At nabigyan siya ng, na binigyan siya, uh, napagbintangan, o big, binigyan siya ng kasalanan ng asawa ni Putipar. At yun nga, sabi nga, siya ay ng rape, pero hindi naman talaga totoo na ng rape si Joseph. So siya ay nakulong dito sa kwentong ito. Men, na nakulong si Joseph. Pero doon sa pagkakulong ni Joseph, ano nangyari Doon siya nakilala na he is a great interpreter of dreams. At doon sa kulungan, nung nakilala si Joseph na mag-interpret ng dreams, si Pero ay nananaginip at nananaginip. Parating nananaginip. Amen? Nang seven, ah, pagbasahin natin, kwento ko na lang, yung pitong payat na baka at pitong matatabang baka, at kinain ng, pay, ng payat na baka ang matatabang baka. So, na-interpret ito ni Joseph. Bakit? Sabi nga dito sa verse 21, But the Lord was with Joseph in the prison and showed him his faithful love. And the Lord made Joseph a favorite with the prison warden. Before long, the warden put Joseph in charge of all the other prisoners and over everything that happened in the prison. Amen. God will give you a favor na kahit saan ka man dadalhin, kahit saan ka man pupunta, kung ikaw ay essential, ikaw ay indispensable, gagawa at gagawa ang kaaway sa buhay mo. Pero si Lord ay gagawa ng gagawa at magpapadala na isang tao para ikaw ay bigyan ng pabor, para maranasan at marating mo ang destiny sa buhay mo. Because you are essential. Amen ba? Dinideklara ko ang bawat isa na nandirito ay essential to the kingdom of God. Amen. Everyone is indispensable. Amen. Everyone is called to witness. Amen. Amen. Lahat tayo ay tinawag. Sabi nga, the world needs you. You are called to witness. Amen. Na kahit sa kulungan, kung gagamitin ka ng Panginoon, talagang gagamitin ka ng Panginoon. Amen. Men, so, dito ano nangyari kay, kay Joseph? Siya ang 
ng alaga sa mga nakakulong. Church, the world needs you. So, doon sa kulungan, kailangan si Joseph doon. Kaya pala nadala siya doon. Even ba? Minsan, madadala ka sa isang lugar na para kang nakakulong. Para kang nasa dry bones, na e, valley of dry bones. Pero kapatid, kung kasama mo si Lord, may favor sa buhay mo. Because you are called to witness. You are needed to make a difference. Your wisdom and understanding is required in the place where God has brought you. Amen? Your wisdom and your understanding is required in the place where God has placed you. Amen ba dyan sa virtual? Amen ba, Ate Ginara? God is putting you in that place because God is having plan for you to witness, to have mission. Your purpose in Australia will be God's missionary. Amen ba? Palakpakan natin si Lord sa buhay ni Ate Ginara na sa Australia ngayon. Nakasama natin. Amen? So, sabi dito, di ba, sa Acts 1.8, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will witness. Telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Gagamitin ka ng Panginoon because you are called out. You are called out for nothing. Diba? Hindi ka tinawag ni Lord for nothing, but you are called out to witness. All over Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So tayo, we are called out to witness as a church, as a transformed individual, as a transformed individual by Christ Jesus. That we never conform to the world, but we are transformed and conformed to the pattern of Jesus Christ. not to the pattern of this world. Amen? Amen. Naintindihan natin? Amen. Now, we are called to witness Lucille. Amen. We are called to, be, to make a difference. We are called to give wisdom and understanding na kailangan ng bawat isa, lalo na sa pagbuto natin bukas. Amen? Maraming puyat ngayon dahil Maraming ang kampanya kung ano nung ginawa kahapon. Kaya yung iba, wala dito ngayon. Kanina rin umaga, wala, konti lang. Pero, praise God, tayo lahat nandito and we will make a difference. Amen? Amen? We will do for the, uh, we will do the, our best for the glory of God. Amen? So, uh, Basahin natin dito sa, patuloy nating basahin pala yung sa Romans 12, 1 to 21. Sa ano na tayo, 3. Balikan natin ang Romans 12. Sabi nga dito sa verse 4. Just as our bodies have many parts and each part has a special function, so it is with Christ's body. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. Amen? So, tayo belong to each other. Amen ba? So, dito sa 6, in, in His grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. So, if God has given you the ability to prophesy, Speak out with as much faith as God has given you. If your gift is serving others, serve them well. If you are a teacher, teach well. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have a gift of showing kindness to others, do it gladly. So, don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. 
Hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Amen? Grabe yung sinasabi ng Panginoon dito sa Romans. Na kung ito ay binigay sa iyo na na gift ng Panginoon, na ang gift of giving, yun, give generously. Kung magbigay ka man, nibigay mo ng todo-todo na. Amen? Never be lazy. Sa 11. But work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Huwag ka lang gawin para magawa mo lang isang bagay. Amen? Kundi gawin mo ito para mag-glorify sa Lord. Gawin mo yun the best of your ability. Amen ba dyan, Jess? Amen ba yan, Noel? Eh, amen ba yan, Eric? Amen mo nyo ba, mga worshiper? Na hindi lang tayo tatayo dyan, basta lang makatugtog tayo. Hindi lang tayo tatayo para lang makakanta tayo. But we must do our best. Doing our ability. Pag pinapunta ka for practice, don't do your practice. Amen? Kasi yun ang gusto ni Lord. Hindi da yan ang gusto ko. <laughs> yan ang gusto ni Lord. Never be lazy. But work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Not man, but the Lord enthusiastically. Rejoice in your confident hope. Be patient in trouble and keep on praying. Huwag tayong tumigil sa panalangin. Patuloy tayong fight a good fight of faith. Amen. Huwag kang gumawa lang dahil parang nagawa mo. But do it with excellence because God is a perfect God. God is an excellent God na gusto niyang gawin mo. Hindi ka lang mag-excel sa school, hindi ka lang mag-excel sa trabaho mo, but you will excel in everything that you do sa pamilya mo, sa trabaho mo, sa school mo, sa church kung saan ka dinala ng Panginoon. Amen ba? Amen. Amen. Lahat tayo essential. Hindi lang ako. Hindi pwedeng ako lang. Ako maging worshiper sa Bigyan Daddy Week. May isang pastor nga daw na nag sa kanya. Kaling daw sila pag-evangelize. Tapos pag-uwi, wala na silang makain. Siya, nga daw, siya pa ang nagsusunglit. Siya pa ang nag-pray-pray. Siya pa ang nag-gitar. Siya lahat. Hindi kaya yan ng isang pastor, kapatid. Hindi ko yan kaya. Kundi... Tayong lahat ang dapat magkakaisa para maganap ang magandang mangyayari sa ating mga buhay. Amen? Sabi nga dito, when God's people are, are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Don't curse them. Pray that God will bless them. Ah, yung mga nangutang sa iyo, pagpalain mo. Ah, sa virtual, kung may nangutang sa'yo, ipag-pray mo na yung maman. Ah, kung dito man, ipag-pray mo na yung maman. Ay, ako yung may mga utang sa'kin. Kinansel ko na yung iba. Pinag-pray ko na yung maman yung iba. Amen. 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 Kat- kung ikaw naman may utang, magsipag ka naman para makabayad ka ng utang mo. At bayaran mo, impusan mo na, dandan, sampung piso araw-araw, isave mo. Isang daan. Buwan-buwan hanggang matapos in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Sabi do, don't be too ho- be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. Maging masaya ka sa kinakasaya ng iba. Huwag kang mainggit kung masaya ang iba at hindi ka masaya. Amen ba, Oliver? Sabi dito, live in harmony with each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people and don't Thank you know it all. Amen? Kahit ako, I don't know all. Hindi ko alam lahat. Kahit nga pagtugtog, ng piano, ng gitara, marunong ako ng gitara, pa isa-isa lang. Ang alam ko lang, isa lang nakanta, ang alam kong itugtog. <laughs> Hanggang ngayon. Kasi hindi naman ako nag effort na ibalik yung galing ko ng gitara noong ako high school. Kasi ang sakit na sa daliri yon. Amen? Sabi nga dito, never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Men, every one of us is essential. You are part of this church and uh, have a purpose to a mission. Amen? 
Sabi nga sa sa 19, Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge, I will pay them back, says the Lord. Hindi ikaw ang maghigante. Ang Panginoon ang maghigante para sa iyo. Amen. We are one in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. So, sabi nga dito sa buhay ni ni Joseph, hindi siya nagretaliate. Hindi niya kina, inaway si Putipar. Hindi niya inaway ang asawa ni ni Putipar. Hindi siya hindi niya kilalaban ang kanyang mga kapatid. Kundi he continue to do what God wants him to do. So dito sa Genesis 41:37-49 Sabi dito, you will be in charge at dahil nga doon nangyari yung panaginip ni ni Joseph naging in charge siya doon sa kaharian ni Pero sa Egypt. So sabi dito din, Pero said to Joseph, Since God has revealed the meaning of the dreams to you, clearly no one else is as intelligent or wise as you are. You will be in charge of my court and all my people will take orders from you. Only I, sitting on my throne, will have a rank higher than yours. Pero said to Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the entire land of Egypt. Diba? Hindi nag-retaliate si Joseph. Hindi siya nakipaglaban, kundi nananatili siya sa presensya ng Panginoon. Amen? So, sabi nga, then Pero removed his signet ring from his hand and placed it on Joseph's finger. He dressed him in fine linen clothing and hung a gold chain around his neck. Then he had Joseph ride in a chariot reserved for his second in command. And wherever Joseph went, the command was shouted, Nail down! So Pero put Joseph in charge of all Egypt. Amen! Kapatid, dahil essential ka, you are a part of the church. Church, you are essential. Every one of us is essential. Amen. And we are one. We are the body of Christ. So, itataas ka ng Panginoon. Ano nangyari kay Joseph? Si took church of the entire land of Egypt. Amen. Siya ngayon ang naging in charge sa entire land of Egypt. Bakit? Puno siya ng wisdom. Amen. Amen. Kaya talagang grabe. Grabe pag ikaw ay, ay na kay Lord talaga. Na ikaw ay pinili. You are called out as a church. You are part of the body of Christ. And you are doing the will of God in your life. Amen. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Manaintindihan ba tayo? Apay, na, lampas na tayo kasi nag-umbasa tayo ng maaga. <laughs> so, kapatid, church, together, we can fight, succeed, and victorious. Amen? Sabi dito sa Ephesians 4, 11 to 13, This will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. Men, yung transformation ng bawat isa sa atin, because we are essential, we are called out by God to witness, this will continue until Jesus Christ babalik dito sa mundo to judge the living and the dead. Amen? Sabi nila, this will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. Amen? Maraming dinaanan si si Joseph. Maraming mga pagsubok. Maraming siyang uh, mga kahit sa kapatid niya, sa family niya, sa trabaho niya. Pero alam niyo, at the end of the day, naging victorious ang buhay ni Joseph. He was the he was called to lead 
the uh, all area of Egypt. Bakit? Nung siya ay binigyan ng authority ng na, ni Piro, hindi siya natutulog. He worked hard enthusiastically for the Lord. Sabi nga, di ba, sa, sa Genesis 39, 2 to 3, sabi nga doon, the Lord was with Joseph and he succeeded in everything that he do. The Lord was with Karina that she succeeded in everything that she do. Sabihin mo ngayon sa sarili mo, the Lord was with your, my name, with Salome, that I succeeded everything that I do. Amen? Genesis 39. 1 to... Wala ali, hindi nyo na ako ha. 1 to 3. Binadagdag ko. O wala yun, basta ang nakalagay doon sa Genesis 1 to... At 2 to 3, the Lord was with Joseph and he succeeded in everything that he do. Ha, sa Genesis 39. So sabi nga dito sa... Point number three, together we can fight, succeed, and be a victor. Sabi ito sa Ephesians 4, victory is to those who unite with God. Together we can make this world a gr great again, and Jesus Christ be glorified in our life. Amen ba? Amen. Let us partner together in spreading the good news. Let us part to get, partner together in spreading the good news. Sa Philippians 3, Philippians 1, 3 to 11, maging partner tayo. Sabi nga ni Paul dito, Every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God. Whenever I pray, I make my request for all of you with joy. For you have been my partner in spreading the good news about Christ from the time you first heard until now. And I am certain that God who began the good work within you will continue His work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. So it, if it, is, so it is right that I should feel as I do about all of you, for you have a special place in my heart. You share with me the special favor of God both in my imprisonment and in depending and confirming the truth of the good news. Sabi ni Paul. Amen? God knows how much I love you and long for you with the tender compassion of Christ Jesus. I pray that your love will overflow more and more, that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding, for I want you to understand what really matters so that you may live pure and blameless lives Until the day of Christ's return, may you always be filled with the fruit of your salvation, the righteous character produced in your life by Jesus Christ, for this will bring much glory and praise to God. Tandaan natin, di ba sabi nga, na meaning kanina sa, sa church is the physical manifestation of Christ, the transformation of our mind through the mind to the mind of Christ. Amen. Church is not really the building. We are the church. We are the body of Christ. And each and every one of us is part of that body. And we must be an encouragement to each and every one. At ang, ang pinaka-importante, sabi dito, Jesus is the only way and very essential in our living. Amen. Sa conclusion, Jesus, sa conclu ato, Jesus is the only way and very essential in our living. So, sabi dito, the Lord was with Joseph, so he succeeded in everything he did as he served the home of his Egyptian master. Wotipar noticed this and realized that the Lord was with Joseph, giving him success in everything he did. This pleased Wotipar, so he soon made Joseph his personal attendant He put him in charge of his entire household and everything he owned. Kapatid, si Lord ay bibigyan, i-incharge ka ni Lord sa lahat ng household ng Panginoon. 
because you are essential. Because we are essential. As a church of God, we are essential. Amen? So, sa conclusion, you are essential because God is with you. God is with you, so you are essential. Amen? Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. May natutuhan ba tayo ngayon? Amen. So, pag nilayan natin to uli, you are essential because God is with you. God is with you, so you become essential. Kapatid, you are the church. You are the church that is called out by God to witness, to be His living church, holy and acceptable to Him. Amen? So, pakita ko nga sa inyo yung, yung ginawa namin. Every part ng S. E. Alvarez, yung Bible study namin, ay talagang essential. Kaya sabi ko, kahit na isipin natin, parang ang laki naman ang gagastusin. Pero because every pa, everyone is essential, so go kasama lahat dyan sa welcome sa Camp Wagi. Kaya doon kami dinala ni Lord sa Camp Wagi. At doon nag-birthday si Rebecca ng kanyang third birthday. Natapat talaga sa birthday at doon siya nagkaroon ng handa Palakpakan natin si Lord sa buhay ni Rebecca. At nung kami ay pauwi na, napadaan kami sa isang grabe kalubak-lubak na daan. At dinala kami dito sa, sa isang lugar, isang bahay na talagang na, naabandonado na. Pero may nakita akong word na binigyan ni Lord sa akin. Dito sa sa isang salita, dito ako nakafocus sa salita, hindi sa mga tao. Dito lang, let us all make this nation great again. Let us all make a beautiful world together. Amen? Palakpakan natin si Lord dahil hindi lang ako, kundi tayo lahat parte sa pag-unlad ng bansang Pilipinas. Parte sa pag-unlad ng Church of Christ, the body of Christ in this world kung saan tayo tinawag ng Panginoon. Amen? Pasensya na. Dapat tinakpan niyo yung legs ko dyan. <laughs> okay lang. So, sabi nga, God, sabi nga dito, ang Pilipinas ay talagang andun ang presensya ng Panginoon. Amen? Kaya nga, may binigay si Lord na gold, may oil ang Pilipinas, may deuterium ang Pilipinas. So, let us Glorify God in every way sa gagawin nating election bukas. Hindi ako nangangampanya, kundi mananalangin tayo sa Panginoon na talagang gawin niya, sa, ma-impress sa atin kung sino talagang gusto niyang mag sa bansang Pilipinas. Amen? Kasi hindi ko kaya, kundi kaya natin lahat. Amen? Kaya natin na gawin uli na great ang bansang Pilipinas and we can live kaya natin na magsama-sama tayo, kasama si God. Kaya nga, pinaka-huli, kasama si God. Na, kasama natin siya. Kaya nga, sabi nga kanina, you are essential because God is with you. God is with you. So, you become essential. Amen? God bless. At alam ko, kayo sa virtual, ay talagang uh, patuloy nating uh, ipanalangin ang ating uh, bansa na mangyari ang lahat ng plano ng Panginoon sa bansang ito. Ang bansang na, anong tawag sa bansang Pilipinas, Kambal? Pearl of the Orientes. At dito, last na patutuo, dahil hindi dumating na maaga ako na magpatutuo, si Karina nagtanim ng 9 kilos na barya nung nakaraan, at ang laman ay 2,549.50 Kasama ito sa building fund dahil itatayo natin ang JTM uh, Kubaw Potsdam. At yun nga, may pagpapala na naranasan si Karina. Siya ay uh, napirmahan na ang kanyang dead of sale dahil nung patay pa, uh, namatay na lang si Chito, hindi pala maayos yung papeles doon sa kanyang mga pinaggagawa. <laughs> Pero nagkaroon siya ng kaso at dahil sa nagtanim siya niyan, siya ay na 
bigyan ng pabor ng Panginoon. Amen? Sabi nga, it's not about the amount, but it's uh, it's about God working in your life. Sabi nga, di ba? God is with Joseph. So, so nag times two. Kasi 2,549.50. Yung lawyer niya, mismo ang nagbayad doon sa kanyang kalaban. Oh, ito ng 5,000. Ako na magbayad sa'yo para pirmahan mo na yan. Matapos na itong kasong ito. Kaya, glory to God. Si Lord talaga, hindi siya, ah, hindi kanya hayaan na magtanim ka na wala kang anihin. Men, tinitingnan ni Lord, dinubli ni Lord. Yung 2,500, na na yan, umani si Karina ng 5,000 ang binayad ng, imbes na siya ang bayaran ng, siya ang magbayad ng lawyer, ang lawyer ang nagbayad doon sa kliyente. Ganon ang favor. Pag ikaw ay, you do it enthusiastically, you work hard enthusiastically for the Lord. Amen ba? May natutuhan tayo, kahit lumampas na tayo sa oras. Pero ang buti-buti naman ng Panginoon sa buhay ni Karina dahil nga, grabe yan makapag-worship kay Lord. Amen? So, kapatid, huwag tayong tumigil sa ating mga ginagawa kay Lord. Huwag tayong tumigil sa mga ginagawa natin that we do it with excellence. We work it with excellence. Amen? Hindi lang pabarabara, kundi talaga ang gawin natin yung sinabi ni Lord sa Romans at sa Ephesians na inaral natin sa hapong ito. So, tayo ay uh, tumayo at manalangin. Tanda natin, Church, you are essential. Sabihin mo sa sarili mo, Church, you are essential. Amen. Kasi susunod lang yung building pag tayo mismo na church ni Kristo ay tatayo to reveal His glory upon our life. Sige Lord, salamat Panginoon. At sa oras na to, God, maraming maraming salamat, Lord, sa lahat na aming natutuhan, Panginoon, that we are essential. Lord, patuloy, Lord, na intindihin namin, Panginoon, na we are called out, Panginoon, to witness, O God. We are indispensable, Panginoon, for this mission, Lord, to reach out many people to expand your kingdom, O God. The world needs us, O God. Lord, help us to witness to the world, O God, that only you, in your presence alone, there is victory, God. And together, O God, church, together, O God, we can fight, succeed, and be a victorious to be a victor, Panginoon, in everything that we do. Help us to understand that Jesus is the only way for our victory, O God. Jesus is, the essen is essential in our living, O God. Lord, salamat, O God. Kung sino man ang hindi pa nakatanggap sa Panginoon Jesus, kung sino man dito sa sanctuary at sa virtual, sumunod kayo sa panalangin. Panginoon, sa oras na to, Lumalapit kami sa iyo, nagpapakumbaba. Humingi ng tawad sa aming mga kasalanan, sa aming mga pagkakamali at mga bagay na hindi namin nagawa para sa iyo. Lord, patawarin mo kami, Panginoon. Panginoong Jesus, pumasok ka sa aming puso at ikaw na pong manguna sa aming buhay. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. Sa iyo lamang, Panginoon, ang lahat ng papulit pagsamba, O God. Salamat sa kapatawaran, Panginoon. Banal na Espiritu Santo, manguna ka sa aming buhay at ikaw na po ang matitaas sa aming buhay, O God. Maraming maraming salamat. We praise you, we honor you, and we glorify you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And thank you because you made this day a better place, Lord. This day, a better day to enjoy your greatness, to enjoy your goodness. Help us, Lord, together, Panginoon. Kasama ka namin, Panginoon, sa lahat namin gagawin. You are the only way, O God, na magawa namin ang spirit of excellence. Maraming maraming salamat. We praise you, we honor you. At Lord, muling tinataas namin ang lahat ng mga very birthday kay Brother Jomar, O God, na may birthday sa araw na to, sa kanyang kaarawan, O God, we pray na patuloy mo siyang 
Remain healthy and strong, body, spirit, and soul, Panginoon. Mananatili ang iyong presensya sa kanilang buong pamilya. Ang pamilya nila, Jomar, kay Sheila, sa kanilang mga anak, kay Brother Mayo, kay Sister Jobe, na sila ay healthy and strong hanggang sa iyong pagbabalik, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa buhay ng lahat na may birthday ngayon. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. God bless us all. At tingnan po na natin yung mga birthday celebrant. Kasi birthday ni Jomar ngayong araw na to. Kanda na muna natin ang happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Jesus' name, amen.